Hi, this is Mark Ganser, Technical Account Manager at EAC Product Development Solutions with this week's Tip of the Week. And what we're going to look about is a, at today is a couple lesser known aspects of the Simplified Rep tool. Uh, one of them is a new preview tool in Creole for previewing your Simplified Reps before you open them. And then we'll look at some, uh, some of the bits of the new graphical tool for creating Simplified Reps. So let's open a model right now. I'm going to go to this engine kit assembly. And when you first thing is when you open a model, you don't have to open it directly. You can say, I want to go straight to a simplified representation. So I can go open representation. And then this rep tool, it's really hard to see. You've got a couple little arrows pointing off to the right. And we can click on that to preview the simplified rep. So let's get ourselves a little more real estate here so we can see this. And here we can pick whatever rep we're interested in. And we can get that preview right away and take a look at what exactly we're going to get before we open it. And let's say we're looking at these and we don't have one exactly the way we run it right now. So let's go ahead and define our own simplified rep. We've got a define button right here. We can give it a name. And we have the new graphical tool for creating a simplified rep. So we can go down the line and choose each of these individual components. Let's say maybe we want to turn on this spark plug part. I can choose graphically what kind of rep I want. Master rep, geometry rep. By default, of course, of course it's going with the default rule, which is exclude. And on the right-hand side, we see exactly what we're going to get. Maybe we want the coil in here as well. Let's make that just a geometry rep. So we have real-time feedback before we ever commit to it of what we're going to get. There are some other nice tools to this as well. I can choose how I want this displayed. Right now it's side by side. I could do it in a vertical mode as well. Really, well, however you're comfortable working with it, it doesn't matter. You also have full access to model rules. You can choose how you're selecting things. Also, you have full access on the left-hand side to things you'd normally have in any model tree. So I can go to the column tool. I can display more information. Maybe it would help me to decide what I want to pick here if I would choose the title parameter from each of those models. So I can see all the way down the list and say, oh, OK, that looks pretty good. I understand what I'm getting here. I could expand things. Maybe I wanted the, uh, the cylinder as well. And let's make that a master rep so we can see where that's going in. Looks good. I'm going to say OK to this. And it creates that simplified rep and displays it on screen for me. So I never had to take the hit of opening the entire assembly just to filter out and get the things I wanted to get. Another thing that's nice is let's say you've got this as a uh, simplified rep here and you thought, boy, yeah, I'd like a rep just like this, but I would like a couple more pieces in it. If you go to your simplified rep tool, you can go to that rep. You can say copy and make a new rep with this one as your starting point. Let's call that more stuff. And let's activate more stuff. And we can redefine him using the same graphics tool. And let's say we wanted the pieces of the engine block in there. And we still have the title active. Very nice to help out and see what we've got there. And where's the other piece of the block. There we go. Let's add him in there as well. And again, we get that preview right away on screen. We can see what we're going to get before we commit to it. And we say OK. The graphic tool makes things a lot nicer in terms of, of getting to where you want to go without having to bring up the entire assembly. and makes it very easy to, to really interactively see what you're defining. Now, if you have any questions on this tip or any of the other tips, please contact me or any of the other good folks at EAC or leave a comment in the comments field below this video. Thanks for taking the time to view it today and have a great rest of your day.